Hey there, do you know any secrets? I'm Bob Freehand. We have a lot of secrets here in the St. Clair Historical Museum. And today we're in the Maritime Room, looking at some of the artifacts in the Maritime Room and telling some stories about those artifacts and maybe even some secrets about them. Now the first artifact tells a story, and this is a hat, this is a captain's hat, and it tells a story about Captain Patrick Owens. Now, Captain Owens was a freighter captain, and for many years he was a captain of the Lee Tregurtha. And so this hat tells the story about his career as a ship captain, but also about the Lee Tregurtha, and that ship is still sailing on the Great Lakes today. Now another artifact that we have in the Maritime Room is this lump of coal. You say, why do we have a lump of coal? Well, the cargo on a lot of the Great Lakes freighters is actually coal. And that coal is being shipped to the steel plants and offloaded at the steel plants because coal is used in the manufacture of steel. And the coal is also shipped to many of the power plants around the Great Lakes because the coal is used to generate the steam, to generate the, the electric power in the power plants. Now, they're gradually getting away from coal and they're going to using natural gas. Now another artifact that we have here in the, in the Maritime Room, this is a steam whistle. And it would have been the whistle that is generated, as I said, by steam from the engine of the freighter. And each one of the freighters had a whistle. And you still hear them sound their horns as they go past St. Clair today. Now it might be a steam whistle or it might be an electric whistle. But the secret about ship whistles is, or ship horns, is that everyone sounds different. So you can always identify which ship it is by the sound of its horn or by the sound of its whistle. Now the ships that are sailing on the Great Lakes today are always are made out of steel. But 150, 200 years ago, they were made out of wood. So I'm going to change my hat. And I'm going to put on the hat of a captain who might have been sailing on a wooden ship around the Great Lakes. Now many of those wooden ships on the Great Lakes 150, 140, 130 years ago were manufactured right here in St. Clair. In fact, in 1860, a man by the name of Simon Langell came here from Marine City and he started building wooden ships on the Pine River in the Landro shipyard. And he built a number of ships. He was a master carpenter, but he had, a, he had a number of men working for him who were also carpenters. And so they would use big tools like this to go out and cut oak or pine, because that's what the wooden ships were made out of. Now the biggest wooden ship that was ever built on the St. Clair River, and here's another artifact that we have in the Maritime Room. This is a model of the ship, it's called the Caliuga. And maybe it's a little bit different view of it. It's called the Caliuga. And this is about two feet long. The real ship was 269 feet long, and it was about 40 feet wide. And it was built in 1887 but it was lost in a storm in 1905 and it went missing and we never found it or the men that were sailing on it at the time. Now one of the secrets about wooden ship building in St. Clair is that any time that, that Simon Langell would launch a ship, it was a big event, and they would tell the whole community, the whole town, that it was being launched. And so the schools would actually close and all the kids would get out of school that day and they'd come down and watch the launching of the ship. Another secret, and here's a picture of it, is that the bridge that was used at, back in 1860, 1900, was a turnstile bridge. It turned on a pivot and it took eight men who were all volunteers. They would send up a, a large uh, request, a yell, we need volunteers, we need to open the bridge. And they would all come out and they would take this giant key and they would turn the bridge. 
and then the ships could get out into the St. Clair River from the Lanjo shipyard. Now in 1903, we got away from building wooden ships and they started building steel ships here in St. Clair. They were built by the Great Lakes Engineering Works on the St. Clair River. They were launched uh, sideways on the St. Clair River. They were built down around where St. Clair Shores Boulevard is, uh, down in what's now East China Township. They built ships down there from 1903 to 1910. Now one of the secrets about Great Lakes Engineering Works is that they built the railroad tunnel between Detroit and Windsor. You say, how'd they do that? They built it right here in St. Clair. They built it in sections, 250 foot long sections of two steel tubes. And those sections were floated down the De to the Detroit River and sunk in a trench in the bottom of the river and then welded together. And the railroad cars still go through that tunnel today. Now our last artifact is in this container. And this is the one that we're going to ask you to guess what it is for our contest. It's a container full of these little balls, these little round balls. And they're a cargo on the Great Lakes freighter. So what I'd like you to do is try to identify what this is. And then take the paper that you used in, from our first episode, from the, the salt room, and write down what you, write down, draw a line, write the number two, write the word ships next to it, and then put in there on, on the line, identify what you think this is. And at the end of all of these episodes, you'll be able to send in your guesses for the possibility of winning a prize. I'm Bob Freehand, and thank you for joining us for Secrets of the St. Clair Museum.